Hello, wise people. This is um, Virgo September um, reading. Happy birthday, beautiful Virgos. Hope you're having a fabulous time. Um, thank you all who return to the channel. Welcome to those who are new to the channel. Please remember to share, like, comment, subscribe and anything that means um, you showing me how this helps you and motivate me to keep going and putting in my time and energy for you guys i'm trying to think if there is anything else it always happens yes watch your um as your rising your moon and your venus sign as well remember this may not resonate with all of you because there are so many people out there it's still a general reading and not only that but your birth chart and the aspects uh, the position of the planets and the aspects on your birth chart really matter and at times although you may be a Virgo the reading um, your uh, energy may not be that strong your Virgo energy may be not be that strong and may not resonate with you however hopefully if you watch your other signs you will find something um, some helpful information inside there so Virgos the first card or lot of cards is about what um, what you need to know in respect of relationship issues then the next lot so I I went for the first uh, I pulled the first cards and then I pulled clarifiers from the same deck I don't know if anyone is interested in the deck I don't usually present the deck it's hard Nouveau, Tarot Art Nouveau, I think it's by Los Carabeo as well. Um, just pieces of information for Virgos as you are a bit more methodical and more um, detailed people in case anyone has that kind of interest. And then, as I said, clarifiers from the same deck. Um, so what you need to know in respect of your love life, and I, th I would say this applies to all Virgos, regardless whether um, in already coupled or singles. And then, what was this? What did I... Oh, good Lord. Um, I know this is what you can do for your love life. And this is, I think what is the actual situation in your love life i think that's what um, i was so what you need to know about your love life what is happening what is the actual situation yeah and what can you do if anything about your love life so to make things better so i got um what you need to know i got uh, six of pentacles and as clarifier i got six of chalices i'm quite pleased with sixes um as numbers i think i said before um a little bit about numbers and to me six is quite a good one actually um, mainly in respect of assets i would say property and assets so this is not to do with your love life, but it's something good that um, I feel you should know. It would be good for you to know. Um, so financially, things should improve. Or if you need to improve on things financially, then look at anything to do with properties and assets. I would say land, um, um, houses fixed things like that not mobile goods so back to your love life Virgos I would say you are looking for a good balance and good exchange of energy in your love life and if you're not aware of that is what would actually help your love life so make sure that you can offer that because 
Not that you wouldn't offer enough, but sometimes you may offer too much. So make sure you don't give too much. As I got here, the six of chalices as well, which is a lot of help and support, which you may give at times. You may give too much to a relationship at times. It doesn't have to be that you expect too much. So the idea is you got to find a good balance, be generous, be helpful, but at the same time, make sure you receive the same back and um, what you need to know about your love life i got the king of wands and the queen of wands which in a way i feel it's really good and i will tell you why um, some of you may be dealing with a king of wands or a queen of wands so a fire sign that would be aries leo or sagittarius so some of you may be dealing with um, that sort of energy, whether um, as their sun sign, um, so their star sign or um, their rising. But um, other than that, it's really good because obviously you do have a, a strong connection, perhaps um, soulmate or twin flame connection with this person. I'm trying to, I will, I will try to see whether I get a bit more, whether it's a, oh, sorry, all right, try and keep this, whether it's um, a twin flame or a, um, I don't know if it's wrong with this, a twin, twin flame or a um, soulmate connection, because I feel it makes a bit of a difference, as they are different things, and whether it's a, um karmic relationship as well because i feel that if we get anything about that or not quite anything but something that could help us answer that um would be good but let me see what i get for you once i manage to have this camera sorted flipping heck I had to happen. So what do we get? We got the chariot and it could have, I got the chariot. Sorry, let me show you. I'm not sure you're interested, all of you anyway, but um I'll show you anyway. And the knight of chalices, so some sort of um, unexpected perhaps kind of um, moving into this relationship perhaps some unexpected uh, changes in this relationship i want to see if it's karmic twin flame or soulmate if i get anything four of chalices um about that hmm could be more of a soulmate type of relationship whether as i said you already know the person or not but i got also six of swords which means you can actually make this work should you both put in the right effort should you match each other's um um energy as well by the way very important yeah um because if this is if you are with especially if you are with a um fire sign they are very i'm trying to think bossy you may be with somebody who isn't a fire sign but has that sort of um personality they may be quite bossy they may be quite easily triggered however the good thing is they don't hold grudges they move on quickly past a um, fallout or misunderstanding a uh, bit difficult to live with them because there could be um, often miscommunication happening however on the bright side is good because it brings especially actually no for both virgo men and women it brings um you know somebody with such personality reels you back into balance it brings you back to to reality fairly quickly because virgos tend to be 
um, a bit. Um, I'm trying to find the right word. Um, on and off, I would say, not quite like Leo or men, but um, yeah, you, you, mood-wise, yeah, you can have moods, let's put it that way. Um, nothing wrong, I mean, it's not a criticism, it's just how you feel at times, you know, sometimes you feel like you need and want that person and sometimes you feel like you can just do without them and they can fall right off or whatever, or you can feel like you need them for something but not for everything and if they don't fucking give you what you want, they can just... Uh, as well um, do on so that is to do with the actual situation in your relationship and if you could do anything to make things um, perhaps um, to, to improve your relationship situation I got the five of chalices which is um, the five of cups in the normal in the Raider White, White Tarot deck and the Two of Swords. So again, brings me back to mood, brings me back to your tendency for worries, brings me back to actually getting a good grip and control of yourself and um, how you feel and how you react, but also of your mind as well. Um, so try not to be too... Um, to concern, to worry, to try not to think too much, try not to be too anxious, and um, yeah, again, back back to square one, back to the basics. Find the balance. Make sure you find balance within yourself, and you get balance in your relationship as well. So I really hope this helps, um, Virgos. Do remember to. As I said at the beginning, share, like, subscribe, get involved and um, yeah, keep me motivated to put in my time and energy for you guys. And until next time, be loved and be happy.